I've known Gabi for a very long time. I saw her years ago and she was just bubbly and I thought she was a bit too much. You know, on set, I, I did think you were a bit too much. But I'm like, I'm going to buy a pop. And she, you thought being, being serious. Mm, most serious, baby. Exactly. So. And more pop. And it was cool, like, because we were excited. We were excited. <laughs> you know, it's nice. Um, so, do you have a crush on me? Mm, not really. I did. I liked her. I liked her and I asked her out and she said no. And I was like, he was no. old. Come on. I was 19, he was 26. So I'm like, Ntato. No, no. <laughs> I said Ntato. No, I was I was straight out of high You know school. what? I think she didn't like the fact. No, I mean, I, I was. I wasn't maybe as successful as one would think I was supposed to be. You know, I didn't represent a guy who appears on TV. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't. You didn't. Yeah, I used to have like a, a horrible tears. Yeah. You know, but I mean, that's all I could afford. Mm, so now I was new in the industry and I was like, a celebrity. celebrity. And I'm crazy. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh my God. So I was like, mm, no. Mm -mm. And I didn't want to date anyone that was in the industry, you know? I was like, I I'm new in this. Next thing, get your lady. Baby celebrity. So I was like, uh uh, this guy. And I really did find him very old. <laughs> now, <laughs> now he's a cool guy. <laughs> He's not old anymore. Okay. Hey, Romance is in the air. I don't know if you're talking about genre or, you know, um, a bit of, of violence here and there, not necessarily GPD. Um, <laughs> we're talking about film genre. Um, but but we, we're doing some cool stuff. We do shows together, we travel together, um, you know, we're doing MC work and I'm just doing music a lot of stuff. music stuff, gigs. It's cool. So what's cool is that I did this, I did a, a we MC the gig together. Mm -hmm. And I think our chemistry was just too much on fire. We literally ran that show. Um, we there? directed it as well. We directed the show. The, the script, the trace. ourselves. What was it? Um, Ingoma, Ingoma Awards. Awards. Some time ago. It's Last two years That's, ago. Oh. Yeah. Actually, yeah. And we got there, we were like, yes, if we want this to work, let's pop, make it pop. But flip, man, the chemistry on the stage was too real. Mm. I'll never forget that night. You know, um, and as friends, it, we just, I was like, flip, I just like spending time with this person, just creatively, her energy, in early, in early other things. <laughs> I was actually scared of Makati. Like, I, he was a celebrity. In fact, when I first met him, he was he was a celebrity, and I was like, "Oh my gosh, I'm new in this. I'm so scared of this guy." He's I've working. never been a celebrity. No, but I not could, in that way. Yeah, I could be okay, celebrated you were, as an artist. He was an artist who's very popular. He was a popular artist. There you go. Celebrity King Joe. Mm hmm. Let me my CD. Okay. Fine. He was a popular artist and I was just too afraid to do anything with him because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't even work with this guy. Whenever we had scenes together, I'd be so scared to buy that because I'm like, he's too good. What am I going to do? And he'd always tell me how good I was. And I'm like, mm, this guy is just saying this because he probably likes me, but I don't believe it. So even when we did the awards together, um, I think you called me or I called you. I found out that you are actually on the thing. Yeah. And then I called you, like, yo, we're gonna do this thing together, and it's gonna be dope. But let's, you know what's so cool? When, when Gary was young, 19, 20 ish, <laughs> her mom used to drop me, drop her at my place. Yeah. To come spend the weekend at my place. Yeah, I've always sleep over. I've got a lot of plans. I'm excited about this year. 
um, still will be acting. I'm excited because we're going to have um, a podcast where we're going to be interviewing a lot of people, um, a lot of legends. We are very passionate about sending love um, to people who have done um, a lot of work in terms of creative work before. And we think they're not appreciated, so we want to talk to legends. We also want to learn and we see, we see ourselves as pioneers and producers. And we just want to find out questions that no one has ever asked them. You know, how did you get to the top? Mm. How did you come up with that? Who did you meet? How did you stay there? How did you stay at the top? Mm. You know, um, and when Gabi met me, she thought I was at the top. I was still trying to find a gap there. But I remember when you see something that's real, you must say, you are hot, man. Mm. You are skillful, you are talented, and we want to plug you in, you know? Um, Ronald, we didn't have that, you know? And so we want to bridge the gap. And for me, that's what excites me about the podcast. Is that we want to bridge the gap and get like on a one, one-on-one experience with, 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 with the legends, you know? There's so many of them that we want to travel around the country, meet them, talk to them, maybe see their families, and then throw them these amazing parties. And I'm sure you'd like to check that out. Mm-hmm. Um, and I mean, why not? And then I can spend time with Gabi. Maybe she might just... Just what? I think I, I said a bit too much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, much yeah, we are both we are talking about the podcast. Yes, so that's what we're going to be doing. The podcast, Yarona. Um, it's called the Legendary. So it's going to be legends only. Just learning from them, you know, and yeah. also teaching the ones that are coming in how to behave, how to stay relevant in this industry because it's not easy. I mean, to be in the industry for over 50 years, that yeah. can only be God and how you carry yourself as well. So we could just chill. And feel good vibes Keep up the last one